okay hi everyone uh, welcome to this session here we are going to uh, this is first session where we are going to uh, start the development for one of our product the product will be our web application where uh, we are going to implement the lms application training management system application so lms means learning management system and training management system means uh, we will manage the trainers students fee structure and then everything related to the training training or classes uh, institutes okay so uh, as of now we haven't done anything you can see there is empty folder where i have created one doc.txt file in that file i am just going to i am just going to decide the requirements as of now requirements are also not clear we will discuss that collectively we decide the requirements and then accordingly work on it so i need one web application i need one android application i will tell you why okay android application also i will one, need one ios application maybe some of student might have the iphones right so that's why uh okay i think we're good right so we need three types of application web application android application and ios application now let's discuss about web application what is web application as we all know web applications we can access through the internet you can access this application in iphone android phone laptop desktop machine anywhere pda ipad anything okay because of we can run the web application through the web browser and browser can be installed in any of the device which i just mentioned and you can access them through the internet now in the web application we need basically a one admin panel right admin panel i will tell you why why we need admin panel i will tell you okay uh, we need what student panel okay every every student should have their own login and then uh, one student log into their account they should be able to manage their profile they should be able to manage the training they should be able to uh, manage the interviews then they should be able to uh, manage the documentation fees everything in their own panel so they don't they don't have to every time contact to their trainers or their uh, institute owners in order to manage uh, their fee structure training anything okay you will manage everything in your panel only so that is why we need the student panel as well then i guess we should have trainer panel okay trainer like uh, if trainer want to give some updates to students then trainer will just log in and will mention like i am only on this day we are not going to take the sessions so trainer will update that in the calendar and that will automatically notification will automatically send to all the students through the push notifications what is push notification same like whatsapp message right so you are not touching with your phone you have just uh, kept your phone on the table and then you got one message from your friend it will automatically populated and uh, there will be some alarm or some sound will become right, ring for the uh, or notification uh, tone we can say uh, message came like this so you will just uh, get the attention okay someone send me the message same like that we'll send the push notifications as well okay so we can call it as a push notifications it is sent from the server like that okay admin panel student panel trainer panel then i guess we need a uh, sub admin as well i will tell you why okay sub admin panel okay what is sub admin panel so sub admin panel is basically let's say uh, there is one institute we can call it as uh, let's say let me okay okay anyways uh, there is one institute right institute one so that institute has one owner and in that institute also there are some office boys or account department let's say so account department basically used to uh, contact students for the training fees and anything so account department should not have an access of some some pages which admin can only do so there will be a role management right so we need admin we need sub admin we need student we need trainer i think four panel we definitely require okay now let's discuss about android application now in the android application uh yeah why we require this one because number one number one is 
attend sessions okay attend trainings okay in order to attend training we need one android application uh, most of the institutes what they used to do uh, they used to ask their student to install the zoom application okay and then they will provide the zoom link and student has to log in through the zoom application but there is a drawback what is the drawback if someone share the link outside of the current group then anyone can join okay there is a drawback so that's why we will restrict our training to the students who has joined the class by paying some fees right so in that case you will get one android application you will get the login credentials once you log in you can see what is the timing you will see the calendar first of all okay there will be a calendar very big calendar like teams if you already know the teams like microsoft teams there is one calendar in the calendar let's say your trainer has set uh the timing for your session like you will have the session on 10 o'clock tomorrow if trainer has already in uh schedule a session on that time every student whenever they will log in they will see that event on their calendar on tomorrow's 10 o'clock okay now student just have to go to that event click on that event there will be a join button once they click on the join they will automatically land into the zoom application from our application okay so this is what we are going to implement that is first requirement for the android application now if someone try to log in with the same credentials let's say there is a student one he has registered by paying some fees he had taken the admissions right and he is logged in once he logged in then uh, that uh, there there is one more friend of him he wanted to also attend the sessions now what he will do for him he is very big uh, very close friend he wanted to do something for him but his friend don't want to pay the fees so in that case how he will help her help him he will provide his credentials to him okay do one thing download this application use this credential login also you can also log in but our application should be smart enough to detect the duplicate login once you log in through another mobile with the same credentials previous login will automatically time out you can it will uh, time out the session expire the session then previous login will automatically expire you cannot attend the meeting from the previous login but you can attend the meeting from the new login so that is another requirement so attend trainings uh, only one login per student okay this we require then students should be able to update the profile okay because let's say student want to inform some uh, some educational background some additional details about him his profile photo and anything update the profile he can be able to update his own profile through our android application okay next hmm. next is you can also suggest no problem you can speak up suggest me what student should be able to do because you are the student you know very well okay attend trainings only one login per student update the profile then schedule interviews okay then uh, student should be able to notification notification correct that's what i was going to write okay should student should be able to uh, see the notifications okay and there will be a calendar model calendar model will be very big okay we require that calendar is for logout button that is very basic and definitely we'll have that that is not the requirement okay so uh, we'll have these many things in this android application and as you know same we need to keep into the ios application as well okay because if you are using iphone or android doesn't matter okay 
तर एज लाईक स्टुडंट ऍडमिन ऑल्सो हॅव टू अपडेट देअर प्रोफाईल लाईक पासवर्ड अँड युजर नेम या दॅट ऍडमिन पॅनल विल टेक अप टेक केअर ऑफ ऍडमिन द वेब ऍप्लिकेशन या ट्रेनर अँड ऍडमिन डोंट हॅव विल नॉट हॅव द अँड्रॉइड ऍप्लिकेशन बिकॉज युजली ट्रेनर अँड ऍडमिन will not uh, like regular basis they will have to update something they will have to only add the notifications and that's it uh, schedule the trainings and all so we will manage that through the uh, web application the problem at the student end but like student does not have the computers maybe sir my application student does not have uh, maybe uh, the laptops every time so they can also join from the mobile uh, because uh, they are very comfortable with the mobile so that's why we require one android application for student but obviously trainer will uh, give the trainings through laptops only admin uh, should always have the desktop machine so that's why we will do all the things in the web application for admin and trainer okay maybe i think uh, we'll remove the tr- student panel from here but i am just keeping it because if someone don't want to install our application they want to quickly log in update the profile do all the things which they can do from the android application so that's why they will do it from the student panel okay so this student panel will have all the things which we can do from the android application there might be some uh like lack of features because of the technology like push notifications right so push notification we can only send to the android devices but if you log in through uh, this one uh web then we cannot send that right uh, so that's okay i think these are all our requirements anything you are thinking about which i am not okay great now let's discuss about detailed requirement about every panel admin panel okay what admin can do admin should be able to create courses okay next admin should be able to create batches next should be able to create trainers not only create huh? it is crude operation crude means create read update delete okay crude operation for training for batches or not training sorry for trainer trainer will give the training okay now uh courses batches trainer okay next is crude for this is our master information okay master tables uh students as well okay admin should be able to add the student admin should be able to manage the student delete the student all the things okay crude for inquiries right if someone came to our institute and he mentioned that okay sir i wanted to take the admission but i i do not have money i am not going to pay the fees i will come back after one week so it is not confirm ad- admission right so inquiries we require okay then admin should be able to fees management okay then sir attendant details and mock ratings attend okay one more thing interview schedule like if someone schedule the interview from the student panel admin should be able to see the interview schedule by date okay and that attendance and all trainer should be able to see see attendance okay manage okay see students by batch okay batch wise he should be able to see the student okay now uh leave management if you want don't want to take the session he should be apply the leave then admin will approve the leave if admin doesn't approve the leave trainer has to take the session okay
okay see attendance the students by batch new management then salary approval use then i will call it as so uh, employee management okay and then salary also leaves then additional benefits okay we'll see uh, at the run time if we got some more things we'll definitely do that next one is sub admin sub admin should be able to do all the things no no not all the things uh, some things a few things or few pages he can be able to access uh, in the sub admin panel okay so i am not going to write that we'll decide that later student panel obviously all the things which we already write it here that we will do inside the student panel here can we add a q and a section in between trainer and student q and a section if a student have any doubt mm -hmm. he can he just do i think uh, that's good suggestion uh, let me think on it so student panel i am just removing here i will add student panel in web application okay so 1 2 and 3 will have these many things sub admin panel and admin panel will have these many things will restrict the pages later okay and trainer will have these things now apart from this what we require addition to this we need one login page we need one register or uh, admission form okay then we need one inquiry form not admission form admission form will be inside the admin panel and you can only fill the inquiry form once you fill the inquiry form admin can convert that inquiry to the admission by verifying all the details okay so these are the high level requirement i can see as of now if you have any suggestions you can speak up otherwise i will stop the recording we we'll start the development anything else notifications we already implemented here uh, mm -hmm. i think we are good okay let me stop the recording we can have the question answers now